Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. Um, before we dive into this Penelope Architect series, uh, let's call it, I'll have a couple updates, some housekeeping items. Number one, I want to go ahead and welcome my newest patron, my buddy Paul. So, Paul, I appreciate you uh, supporting the Bourbon Judge. Thank you very much, my man. Uh, as well as, honestly, really, all my patrons as well. I talk to my patrons all the time, different forms of communication. We're always kind of going back and forth, probably actually on almost on a daily basis, which is really cool. So again, I do appreciate not only Paul, but also all my patrons, as well as everyone else who watches the channel. Second bit of a, let's call it again, housekeeping and update. Next week, join me next Wednesday, May 11th at 9 p.m. Uh, I actually have my first barrel pick. So this is huge for myself. For the channel, uh, it's going to be myself. Uh, it's with Woodenville, so I'm doing my first barrel pick with Woodenville, uh, and then also some of my patrons actually will be joining me on the live stream as well as we select the first barrel pick for the Bourbon Judge. <laughs> Can't wait! All right, so let's go ahead and dive into uh, Penelope. So let's, what do we know about Penelope? So number one, if you recall, actually, I think it was just last week, I actually had on um, Mike and Danny from uh, Penelope Bourbon. So two best friends, they grew up together. And uh, what I like about them is that they're very upfront. They are sourcing their whiskey from MGP and then doing whatever with it afterwards, like in terms of like blending and so forth to make it better. But they're very upfront, they work with MGP. There's no story of how, you know, their great uncles from 150 years ago, great grandfathers from 150 years ago had a mash bill and they found it underneath like carpet or some random crazy story. None of that. They just love whiskey and they're like, hey, we got enough capital, let's make this company come to fruition. Hey, I respect that by itself, as I said before. So Penelope Bourbon, uh, again, they have a couple of different um, other types, like their entry one. They have a toasted series, a cast strength, and the Architect series is actually their newest release, if you will. So this is the first release of hopefully multiple different um, versions of this coming out in the future. So what do we know about the Architect series? Number one, from a, a MSRP standpoint, it's a $60 bottle. Uh, it comes in exactly at 104 proof. And the whiskey inside is actually aged anywhere from four to five and a half years. After that point in time, they are also inserting, uh, or, or I should say, it's stored in French oak staves. And they're actually, it says right here on the back, they're partnering with the Tonnerelli Rideau of France um, uh, Cooperage, if you will. So think of these guys right here, Kelvin Cooperage. They are almost essentially the Kelvin Cooperage of France. So huge Cooperage. Um, so they basically took their four to five and a half year old MGP whiskey, uh, threw it in the second barrel um, with the French oak staves for you know X amount of time and really trying to enhance the whiskey that was already good whiskey and just trying to make it better. Tonarelli, the Cooperage over in France, they're known for almost like precision, being very precise, being very accurate in terms of like providing like the best uh, barrels possible. So Penelope thought, hey, that's kind of like what an architect, right? An architect is very precise. So an architect, he or she obviously, of course, creates blueprints. And uh, what do you got? Have? A blue label. And on the back, they almost have like little design as well that shows like the different notes, like is it fruity or caramel, whatever that might be. So that's kind of what, what Penelope, what Mike and Danny are kind of, uh, what they built this version of Penelope off of. So really cool in concept. Let's go ahead and dive into it to see if the whiskey is great. Cool? All right, let's go ahead. So $60 bottle. Now again, the availability with this one, definitely a little bit harder because again, it is the newest release. So you're not gonna find it as much as you would find um, the majority of their other products. I think they're currently like in 26 different markets or 26 different states and of course online, but this is their newest product or the, and their newest line uh, in the series for Architect. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to find, but hopefully in some due time, it will become more and more available. All right, let's dive into the nose real quick here. The one thing I will say also about Penelope, they're very upfront. It's a four grain mash bill. So corn, rye, malted barley, and wheat. That is for every single product that they have, including this bad boy here as well. The only difference with this one is that again, you have the uh, French oak staves as it says on the front. So, all right, let's just dive into this real quick. Whoo, boy. Damn. For a four to five and a half year bourbon, 
And then of course you have that second barrel with the French oak staves. I'm not sure how long that is exactly. I think it's just a couple of months. So you have a really good range from like that four to almost six year uh, age bourbon kind of mixed in. The nose on this does not smell like a potentially anywhere from four to six year blend. It really doesn't. The nose is actually, it's actually amazing. You get a lot of notes of like strawberries with some caramel, some oak, maybe even a little bit of like some blackberries from a fruit standpoint, and it'll just a smidge of like a peppery, almost like a mint. It's a really great nose. It really honestly just kind of sucks and just like pulls you in. Wow, very nice. Hey. It's been a long day, as you guys can tell. There's no Bourbon Judge shirts on today. <laughs> I literally just finished work, and hey, why not finish work with some whiskey? And hopefully some good whiskey. We shall see. Until, uh, cheers, my friends. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Wow. What is this again? 104 proof. So, what I like about this, <laughs> you guys know I have no poker face. What I like about this is everything in the nose transferred to the palate. I love the caramel, um, almost like a caramel strawberry mix with the back end notes of like um, some, uh, some brown sugar, a little bit of like mint some spice, like some like peppery rye in there as well, like the spice from the rye, um, a little bit of mint in there as well. And the last thing is definitely oak in the nose. This is absolutely an oak forward bourbon, but hold on, let me get a little bit more before I give the, the final verdict. Mm. And it's a nice even and long, finish so the question remains bourbon judge is this worth a buy do i leave it on the shelf or what do i do with it folks the verdict is in this is a hell of a buy i mean honestly a 60 dollars bottle whiskey that's aged four to five and a half years plus a, a few months on the back end uh, as it relates to uh the second barrel with the french oak saves that is honestly amazing and i mean truly amazing it's really really good so i'm gonna say it's a buy all day i would caution one thing though you definitely need to love a very oak for bourbon if you don't like a lot of oak then maybe it might not be the best for you but i would still say definitely at least try it at a bar or even at a friend's house and if you're like me i'm, I'm an oak guy all day long and i mean all day long i love some oak so if you love an oak ford bourbon you will absolutely run to this every single day. At 104 proof, it's a great proof point that I think honestly, because it's a nice long finish, you can sip this bad boy in the winter, you can sip it in the summer. This is a year round type of a bourbon, which is cool by itself. Hey, until the next time, peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate each and every one of you. Catch you next week on my, uh, my live stream. Peace out, take care.